Hey guys, it's KK, and this is the second layout that I'm doing with that Chamel collection that I showed you earlier this week. So I'm starting out with this sheet of pattern paper, and I'm going to trim it actually on the left and the right sides because I want to use some other paper from the collection to frame it, and I actually do that off camera. So I'm just building my layers here. I'm making sure that this pattern paper with the hearts is lined up with the polka dots on the left hand side so that that way I can make sure that I get it straight. Once I get those two big layers down, I'm going to put my photo down and this piece of gray cardstock I had already used to punch some labels, but you can't see that once it's all put together. So I went ahead and used it just to frame the photograph. Now I got this four by six card from the cut apart sheet and when I put it down originally, it was just too large in comparison to the photograph and all the other layers that I had going on. So I just trimmed around all four sides to make it. Um, a little more, I guess, proportionate to the photograph and everything else that I had going on. And I found that it worked nicely once I trimmed it down. So after I get that done, I'm going to come in with one of those wood veneers that I had, those really long ones. And this is a shorter one and I just thought it looked really nice here. I'm having some trouble using them just because I don't know if they're too big or I'm just not liking them. I really don't know, but I'm struggling to use them. so. Um, I was quite happy that this one worked out. Now I thought I might use this 3x4 card, but again, it's just too big when it's compared to everything else, so I got I got rid of that. And I took another 4x6 um, card from the cut apart sheet and I trimmed it down so I could just put it underneath everything and use that for my journaling. Now what this does is it creates that line to the right hand side. And I'm not really liking that angle. So what I did is I went ahead and got some washi and just extended that line out so that it would be more visually pleasing. I'm also going to mark another spot underneath this four by six card with washi. And those can be places where I might put embellishment or something like that. Um, but I, I think this time I actually leave them both plain, but it works out nicely. Now this Martha Stewart punch, that's a heart fits those hearts in the pattern paper perfectly. If you look to the left once I'm done, you can see it, it cuts, it punches them out perfectly. So I thought I might use a couple of those up at the top just to bring in that pattern again. So following suit from the layout I posted um, prior to this one, I took another October afternoon label sticker in orange and I stuck it up there at the top above the photo. At this point, I'm working on just bringing in another layer and so I get some of that black and white diagonal stripe paper and I just add it behind that first 4x6 card. Then I'm going to take my Jenny Boleyn punch and I'm going to punch out a tab with that same gray cardstock that I used to mat the photo and I'm just going to add it there and layer an October afternoon label sticker over that. I also use my tiny attacher on that just to add some more interest. Now I needed something at the top so I went ahead and took another piece of that washi tape and I put it up there and I took one of the hearts that I punched out with that Martha Stewart punch and I just layered it there and I used my tiny attacher to just add some more interest up there at the top. At this point I'm ready to go ahead and start my title. So I grabbed those pink thickers and like I said I really love the font so I'm really enjoying using these thickers. And once I'm going to start with my title and then what I was going to write, I decided I didn't want to write. So I changed my mind. And so once I get the right idea or the title that I really want in my mind, I go ahead and just get all that laid down. So I needed one more thing up there at the top. So I had this like scallop border that I'd punched with some aqua paper and I just add that over that label just so I can have something else there. At this point, everything is pretty boxy aside from the heart at the top. So what I do is I add another label sticker there and then I take a stamp that I have and I stamped it with some charcoal ink and I punched it out with a, I think it's a three quarter circle, three quarter inch circle. And I just punch a couple of those out and just put them about the page. And I figure that they really, they go with the, they keep the hearts going if that makes sense. I would have liked to add one more at the top, but I just think it would have been too much. So here I am coming in with some Heidi Swap Tinsel Mist and just doing some little splatters here. And then I'm going to come in with some enamel dots that are gray 
and I believe they're from Teresa Collins. This layout came together super quick. I think it took me like 30 minutes. So um, there's not a lot to it, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And here are some close-up pictures of it. As always, thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you enjoyed. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.